Hey, Cancer. So, the messages that I was getting for you guys was, I feel like you could have lost something. And this could be anything, like a material thing, or your mind, or you lost interest, something. I'm also getting that something is not working out. It could be work that you're just like, no, or it could be a relationship, a friendship, whatever is not working for you. Also, I feel that there's a hidden plan, and I almost feel like this is your plan. You have something that you're keeping a secret. So, so far, we have the King of Cups in the reverse. So, this is your energy, Cancer Pisces Scorpio, and it's like, I really feel like something's just got you not feeling yourself. There definitely could be someone significant. It could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or an earth sign, but... I feel like something's making you feel as if you're not yourself. I'm also getting that you could be learning something new for the first time. Okay. And this could be learning something new about somebody else. Universe, what is the energy for Cancer? So we have the Strength card here. And with this card, I feel tolerance. You could be tolerating something. You could have been tolerating it for a long time. The Knight of Pentacles is a very slow-moving energy. So you definitely could be tolerating this for a long time. But you guys could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay. What is the energy surrounding Cancer? Okay, so we have the Ten of Pentacles. I do feel like your main focus could be money, or you're trying to shift your focus to money, work. There's a lot of Pentacles here. Okay. Knight of Swords in reverse. This is a lack of communication. So there could be no communication from a Leo. Must be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, you have the Three of Cups here. So there could definitely be a Leo that wants to reconcile with you. You have the Sun card, the Death card. It could be a Scorpio as well, Capricorn. Somebody wants to reconcile. Or somebody could be thinking about you at this time. Or you could be thinking about somebody else. What is the energy surrounding Cancer? Okay, where did that just go? All right. You have the Queen of Wands. I feel like you're ready to do something. Take action towards something that maybe is not working for you or something that is not very successful in your eyes. You can want to change that or work towards making something successful. Why is the King of Cups? Okay. Why is the King of Cups here in the reverse? Okay. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles. You want to change something. You want to grow something. So I do feel like something, there's a lack of of love there could be a lack of attention there's a lack of something with you and this other person this definitely could be about work so if this is like a lack of money or just like a lack of motivation whatever it is because there are a lot of pentacles here you could be worried about like your house and things like that at this time there by the page of pentacles okay yeah being very defensive right now there could be someone in your life that's being extremely defensive towards you yeah it definitely could be a leo we got the sun card here but i do feel like also you could be seeing you're seeing the truth about something or something. There's being light shed on something. And it could be about another person or even about yourself. What about the strength card? Okay. The Emperor. So I feel like you're doing your best to keep shit together. Like just keep yourself together. Go to work. You know, do your thing. But I feel like it's taking a lot of strength or it's taking a lot of patience. So with the Empress here, you definitely could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra. That's by the Empress. Yeah, Three of Pentacles in the reverse. Something has, is, I feel like there's something either about you, about this person, about this relationship, about this job that is not working out. Or you want to make work out. Like, I feel like you want to do something about it, but you don't know what to do. Or this could be the other person they want to do something about this. So, clarify the pen, Knight of Pentacles. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles. Okay. Yeah, the page of wands here. Moving slowly towards a new beginning. Or moving slowly. I feel like you could be shy toward like to do something or a little bit nervous to do something. Or to say something. Clear by the page of wands. Yeah, a new beginning. Like I really feel like you're nervous to go for something new. We have the five of swords here. I'm also getting okay, you could be planning to go towards something new. But five of swords is very secretive. It's like a hidden agenda type of energy. So 
or this could be the other person. So I'm feeling like, okay. So this is the other person. If you're dealing with the earth sign, Taurus Virgo Cap, they're planning something. And you could be unaware of it. I do feel like you could also be picking up on it. With the sun card here, I do feel like it's going to be exposed, whatever it is. Okay, clarify the five of swords. Okay. Oh, okay. So we have the six of pentacles here with the six cups. This could definitely be someone you're dating. Six cups could be a relationship, the past, um, soulmate type of energy. Six of pentacles. There's something going on. Something about exchange going on. Like maybe you give more to this relationship than the person does or vice versa. Okay. So clarifying the ten of pentacles, we have the ten of cups. So I really feel like you're trying to work towards making this happy. Almost getting that someone is maybe not cooperating with you. Okay, for the Knight of Swords. Okay, the Nine of Pentacles. So I'm definitely feeling like somebody in this situation, you could be done with the Pisces, is looking out for themselves. So this could be the advice for you, is to look out for yourselves at this time. So, for the Three of Cups. Definitely could want to reconcile with someone, whether this is you or somebody wanting to reconcile. Or like vice versa, you know what I'm saying. But um, the Queen of Wands here definitely could be a fire sign, but it could be someone that is a go-getter, someone that is very attractive. Also with the Six of Wands here, someone that's successful wants to reconcile with you. Or somebody sees you as this Queen of Wands. Very successful, very attractive. Clarify the Three of Cups. This could be someone that you party with. We have the Tower, so... A surprise. Like, somebody could want to surprise you from the past. Or this could even be somebody new coming into your life. Could be someone at work. We have the Eight of Pentacles here. Hmm. Clarify the Queen of Wands. But I'm really feeling like this Queen of Wands, this is how they see you. Like, I feel like, feel like you can want to do, if you're in a relationship, you can want to do something about whatever this confusion is, whatever is not working out. Because I feel like it's not, like, to the point of breakup. But I do feel like there could be something small that is not working for you and you want to change it. So, we do have the two of wands here. You definitely could be choosing between either two people or just two paths, like what you want to do. Trying to decide what the, would be the best option for you to do about whatever situation you're in. Clarify the six of wands. I feel like right now the advice here with the six of wands and the nine of pentacles is to make the best decision for you. Like, think about your individual self. Yeah, eight of pentacles. I feel like a lot of success and work is coming your way, or you could be very successful at what you do. Or you could be burying yourself in work. There are so many pinnacles here. Definitely could be burying yourself in work right now. I'm also getting trying to get stable, whether this is financially, mentally, emotionally, trying to like get stable, or this is what's happening for you right now. Okay. What is the advice for cancer? What is the advice for cancer? Okay, so we have the ooh, damn. We have the two of cups in the reverse and justice at the bottom of the deck. So for those of you in a relationship and you are I don't want to say unhappy, because I do feel like you are happy in this relationship, but there's like something that needs to be tweaked. Or you if you are not happy lately like you were at one point. So I do feel like there's something that you and somebody else needs to talk about. With Justice Card, the truth needs to come out. There's a truth that either you need to admit or they need to admit or both. So I do feel like a conversation for those of you who are going through a situation like that. What is the advice for cancer? I just lost that card. I don't know where it went. Okay. Yeah, the King of Swords. King of Swords is someone that just comes out and say it. It could be dealing with the air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But he's just like very straight up, very forward so i'm feeling like the advice here if there is something that you need to say to someone else or you want to address just lay it on the table like literally the king of swords is like fuck their feelings like yeah he cares but he's like i need to say what i need to say and i don't care how you feel about it so i'm definitely feeling like this could be the advice for you is just to say it so anyway cancer i hope this was a good read don't look at this anyway cancer <laughs> i hope this was a good reading for you if you would like a personal reading there's information down below on how you could get one and enjoy the rest of your week